Elon Musk supposedly has one ordinating principle that everything goes through, and so does Jeff Bezos when he was at Amazon. And Bezos's was, does this make the customer experience better? And Musk's was, does this get us closer to Mars? It's incredibly easy to work out what you need to do in life, when to get up, who to speak to, what tasks to do, mm. what tasks not to mm. do, if there is a single unifying goal that you're moving toward. And the problem is that people want to try and do as much as possible at the moment. Mm. There is a multiplicity, an endless number of things mm -hmm. that you could oh, yeah, do totally. with your life at the moment. And uh, you can be anything you want, mm -hmm. but you can't be everything that you want. Like finding the why in everything that you do. What is your why then? It's difficult because it continues. It's like layers. It's got layers to it, right? And there's also the noble outward version and then there's the uh, probably the, the more real inner version. I think for a long time, my why was I wanted to be recognized by people and needed. I was quite unpopular when I was younger, when I was in school, uh, I always felt alone. So what I wanted was to be able to put myself into a position where people needed me. And I didn't mind if they liked me or not. I realized that if they needed me, that was close enough to being liked that it wouldn't matter. Now, what I didn't realize is that you should be able to get yourself into a situation where people like you, regardless of whether you're offering them entry into a nightclub or insights from a podcast in any case. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's just a, a pattern that I'm working myself through. But I would say at the moment, I, I have an insatiable curiosity that needs to be filled and the opportunity to use that to teach other people things is, I, I can't, every single day I think, I can't believe this is a job. I absolutely cannot believe whatever version of the simulation that we're in that has allowed this to be a job is pretty mind blowing. I think that's a beautiful indication of being in service in the right place to yourself, even. Um, when your job feels like, you know, your play, yeah, your passion. It's, you know, it's as if, if you can you do what you're doing without the idea of even getting any money for it, right? Like that's a great measurement for it. I would do it. I would mm -hmm. still do this if nobody listened, if nobody tuned in. That's I would amazing. be. 2 p.m. every day, I'd be sitting down and talking to a geneticist who's trying to re-engineer human DNA so it can survive space flight or a porn star or a, <laughs> a strength and conditioning coach or whoever it is, right? I would be, I, I would want to speak to them.